Dr. S. K. Sareen, Professor of Hepatology and Vice Chancellor, Institute of Liver and Biliary Sciences, India, Program Managers and Staff from Ministries of Health, Distinguished Speakers, Dr. Philippa Easterbrook, Scientist, Department of HIV, Viral Hepatitis and STIs, WHO Headquarters, Ms. Lena Meghane, Global IP Advisor at Medicine South Frontiers, Community and Civil Society Partners, Distinguished Experts, WHO Colleagues. Warm greetings and welcome to this World Hepatitis Day celebration. And my sincere thanks to all stakeholders for your efforts to maintain hepatitis care throughout the COVID-19 response. Your commitment has been truly remarkable and has shown the formidable resolve that we in the Southeast Asia region have to eliminate hepatitis as a public health threat by 2030. Today, in service of that goal, WHO is highlighting the urgent need to bring hepatitis care closer to communities, the focus of this year's event. We are calling on countries to integrate quality, accessible and affordable hepatitis care into primary health care services in line with the region's new strategy for primary health care as well as new WHO global health sector strategies on HIV, viral hepatitis and sexually transmitted infections. Towards that objective, we are pledging to you, our partners, colleagues, beneficiaries and friends, our ongoing and unmitigated support reflected in a new integrated regional action plan on viral hepatitis, HIV and STIs, which we are set to launch in September. For the first time, the integrated RAP will cover all three diseases in one plan. It will strive to increase quality and efficiency and leverage the full power of primary health care, universal health coverage and health systems for impact. It will promote equity and innovation and advance people-centered and community-driven approaches. It will draw on the many lessons learned from HIV, hepatitis and STI responses, accelerating a synergistic and integrated public health approach along the entire continuum of care. New WHO data show just how urgent our mission is. Nearly 354 million people are estimated to be living with chronic hepatitis B and C globally, of which at least 20% in our region. Every year, around 3 million people newly acquire hepatitis B and C infection globally, of which close to half a million are from our region. The Southeast Asia region accounts for nearly 220,000 of the 1.1 million lives lost to hepatitis B and C globally each year. Across the world, just 10% of people living with chronic hepatitis B and 20% of those living with hepatitis C have been diagnosed, which compares with just 2% and 7% respectively in our region. Figures that are unacceptable and which reflect a massive amount of avoidable morbidity and mortality. Delayed or missed diagnosis is especially troubling given that we now have the tools to cure more than 85 to 95 percent of cases of chronic hepatitis C and to effectively manage chronic hepatitis B on a long-term basis. To bring hepatitis care closer to communities and to eliminate hepatitis, 
as a public health threat by 2030, several priorities have to be addressed. First, political commitment. That is to eliminate hepatitis, which needs to be strengthened, and investments in high-quality, people-centered hepatitis care increased, ensuring such investments are adequate, predictable, and sustainable. Second, access for all to safe and effective vaccines and drugs and point-of-care diagnostics must be improved with a focus on increasing affordability for which the cost of hepatitis care should be integrated into national health and domestic financing. Third, communication and community engagement strategies must be developed or strengthened to reduce stigma and to increase awareness and testing, especially among populations at highest risk, such as people who inject drugs, men who have sex with men, and mobile and migrant populations. Fourth, service delivery models that are close to where people live and work and which are aligned with people's needs, preferences, and health-seeking behaviors must continue to be explored with a focus on shifting hepatitis care away from the specialist domain and into communities. By 2025, together, we must reduce new infections of hepatitis B and C by 50%, reduce deaths from liver cancer by 40%, and ensure that 60% of people living with hepatitis B and C are diagnosed, and that 50% of those eligible receive appropriate treatment. By 2030, we must eliminate hepatitis as a public health threat. I once again thank you for your commitment and look forward to our onward journey together to deliver the right hepatitis care right in the community and to achieve the 2025 and 2030 targets. Thank you.